Behold, the door to Three Town. Alas, the door was sealed shut, and only a roll of a three would open it. But Evans' friend was one dot short. He could only roll a one and a two, and Evan would have to find a way to upgrade him. Strange. What's up with these little guys? Well, I wonder if they could fix you. As though Dicey was affecting a giant board treasure. game. Thank you. 
final round. The board game is about to end. Many decks here, card enthusiast and living store at your service. Quiet down! I'm old and I'm tired, and I demand you respect that. You can't hear that, can't you? That noise! Uh, dang it. I'm trying to sleep. And that blabbed bloob is up on my roof making a ruckus. It's those dang... Oh, I don't even know what they are. Screaming wobblies. You seen them? Now they're up on my roof making noise. All I want to do is nap. I'm old. I've spent more hours awake than anyone. And I deserve some moments of blessed unconsciousness. Quiet unconsciousness. You'll help me, won't you? I'll reward you or something. Thank you, little one. You've made an old man's heart want to fill with hope. Which will happen as soon as this old man's ears are no longer filled with cotton to keep the darn noise down! Please don't dawdle now. I'm very old. You dang little blue critter! Thank you, little one. Stacy, there! Ah, Casnino! Oh, it's bad, you get a banana! The dice! Child! Yes, you! Come closer. You, child! I believe we can be useful to each other. No, nor I you. But the threads of fate weave strange fabrics indeed. You see, I've noticed that you have a dice with you. <laughs> You'll need your wits to survive what's coming, I'd wager. So, let's say, hypothetically, you have a dice. Which, of course, you don't. Which means you, hypothetically, have experience in their identification and the true nature. I've heard tell of a dice circulating Celestry. Of course, it's been so long since a true dice has been here. People don't entirely recognize it for what it is. And if these rumors were true, well, I dare say you could be the one to find it. 
The folks are dimly sense it has value. They treat it as something rare and unique, say a fossil, not knowing its true value, its true nature. I believe someone like yourself could trade for it, or at the very least, trade up to it. Hypothetically, of course. And if you did hypothetically succeed in possessing such a dice, well, I'd be interested. And I'd make it worth your while. Worth your while, indeed. I've heard stories around Cellar Street. There's all sorts of strange items for trade there. And if you can't find it directly, you could trade until you do. I've told you all I can. Oh, except... Except that I've heard whispers that someone is buying words. And someone else is selling them. And that would be where I'd start. Make yourself useful, child. Trade and trade until, before you know it, you've got your hands on one of those dangerous, awful, deadly dice. And then you give it to me, and I will take care of it. The number two ah, you come try for random, off. and lo, no, it was good. Oh dear, do I ever shut up? And lo, did the number two inspire all to praise the queen for twice as long? And lo, did the queen bless her? <laughs> and and oh, two moons. Trade it here for a new one, one with me. One. Oh, many dicks. I got words for sale here. Choice words. Pluviophile. It means lover of rain. <laughs> That's just a free sample. My rarest word. <laughs> That's a tall order. Um, what do you have to offer in trade? I'm afraid I don't go in for tangible items, kid. Too flammable. Nice thing about words is, you can carry them in your head, and nobody can ever steal them. Who wants to buy a word? I got Clinio... You again? What have you got for me this time? Let's hear it. What? That is worth only the most common word. Here you go. The. Enjoy. It's worthless, and nobody will trade you for it. What do you have to offer in trade? Let's hear it. How? Oh, down, like as in duck feathers. Ah, sorry. Not a fan of puns. No trade. What do you have to offer in trade? Let's hear it. Why? Seven, eight, nine? Oh, seven, eight, nine. Ugh, keep that joke. I don't want it. What do you have to offer in trade? I'm listening. I like the amount of whys in that word, but three or more planets. Oh, that's a hard sell here in Two Town. I think that's a pass from me. 
What do you have to offer in trade? Uh, your last one didn't do anything for me, but I'm listening. How does a small girl like you know an adult word like that? Adlubescence. Oh, learning it is a pleasure. The breath of the essence sound, the mouth feel of Adlub. Oh, the rarity of it. Oh, this is a word I can definitely sell. Tell you what, I'll give you a great word in exchange to. Oblectament. I got so many words. You again. What do you have to offer in... What do you have to offer in trade? Uh, your last one didn't do anything for me, but I'm listening. Isome? It sounds gross. Like you're putting something in your eye. Gross! No thanks. No trade here. What do you have to offer in trade? Uh, your last one didn't do anything for me, but I... How do... Add the breath of the... Oh, tell you what, I'll give you a great word in exchange to... Oblectament. Close. Oblectament. It means a source of... For example, learning adlubescence is an oblectament. Thank you again, kid. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Bye. Beautiful. Use it well, kid. Hey, here's a free sample. Hmm? Halcyon. It means happy and careless. First one's free, kid. Not the one. You wouldn't happen to have anything, would you? A word? Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be a whole new marketplace. Oh, that is a beautiful word. Oblectament. I would like some oblectament, please. Yes, it is a good word, and that means it has value. Any anything with value I can trade. Oh, this is going to be great! Let me compensate you for that word by giving you a Gobblegregor in exchange. They're very futuristic. Perfect. We have a deal. Enjoy it, and be sure not to Gobblegreg too much on your first go. Great, kid. Get your fresh rounds! 
straight out of the tube. That's dinner for two. It's a hard business to be in some words, but lucky for me. You have the ingredients! Brilliant! That's all I need. Uh, please, pass them over. Remember, you did say you'd give them to me. Thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, just need to mix them together and down the hatch. Ah. Okay. I I feel strange. Oh, oh this is intense! Perfect! It's just me! For the first time, it's just me! Thank you for this. Let me give you something in exchange for all of this. It's my partner's personality, distilled down to its purest essence. I hope it treats you well. You know what? By the cards, I think I'm actually going to miss him. It's so quiet without him in my head. I may actually miss him already. He'd say that's only logical. Isn't that funny? It's funny, isn't it? Thank you again. You'll come back to visit me, won't you? It's so quiet here all by myself. So lonely. You even start to miss logic. Words for sale. Who wants to buy a word? Please, trade the Gubble Gregor to me. I'm sure this skull I'm offering is invaluable. It must be. It's darn old. Thank you. Here, have this, uh, fossilized skull, I think. Strangely four-sided. It must have come from some sort of ancient extinct animal. Big Red dug it up a while back before... Uh, forget it. It's not important. But this has got to be the rarest thing in all of Two Town. Thanks, kid. for sale here. Choice words. Pluviophile. It means... Impossible. 
possible? Let me see that. By the card makers themselves, this is a dice. Or rather, it was a dice. Oh, if I had such power, child, I wouldn't be lurking here, talking to strangers. No, no, it wasn't me. The queen destroyed all the dice, child. Well, almost. I want to say thank you, child. It's been so long since I've seen a dice, even one that's dead like this. That alarms you, doesn't it? Yes, dice can die. We found that out in the No Dice War. It was a catastrophe. The queen child decided that she should be the only one to wield a dice. And so she waged war on them and on those who'd wield them. And she did not show mercy in victory. If when she finds out there's still a dice and still a wielder, well, she will be apoplectic. And she is not to be toyed with. What happened here, she will do to you and your friend here. It's not a threat, little one. It's an observation, gleaned from hard-earned experience. Hypothetically speaking, that is. But don't worry, your secret is safe with me. As for this poor dice, I'm going to return it to where it belongs, to the sacred valley of the dice. I suspected as much. There are some of us who remember the old ways, child. We must stay hidden and we must stay silent. But we exist. The valley is hidden, far below random, and far from the queen's prying eyes. It's a crypt, a land of the dead, forbidden to all but a few will remember. I'd wager you don't fully know what you travel with. I'm glad to hear it. I hope you are. Goodbye, child. Take care and random rules. Good luck, dice wielder. And you too, little dice.